potato cake slash fritter thing. Something, I'm gonna put it, we're gonna mix it up and I'm gonna put it on my griddler and I'm gonna kind of make it like a patty. I want it to be, I want it to have the appearance of being fried like a burger or a falafel. And then I wanna heat up tortillas and I've got cabbage and lettuce and tomatoes and I thought we could top the this with that and roll it up and eat it like a wrap. First thing I'm thinking is that I want to, um, hey, hey, hey. I want to partially mash my chickpeas. These are chickpeas that I pressure cook in the iPod. Whoop, whoop. I have a whoop whoop shirt on. Oh well. Um, and this is, looks to be about almost four cups. We're gonna make a lot. It's either gonna be a whole lot of yuck or a whole lot of yum. We'll see. Okay, and I've got my immersion blender and I'm going to partially blend this so I can have good patties. I did leave a few chickpeas for texture. Not a lot, but a little. And I need to figure out how I'm gonna cook all this. I think I'm gonna get out my griddler and make little patties. That's what I'm gonna do, because I need a super fast meal. And Charlie's gonna be home soon. He's gonna be like, woman, where's my supper? And I'll be like, man, I've been YouTubing. I'm gonna have to wait. That's what I'm gonna say. Okay, there, there's the chickpeas. See, I left some whole. This is really dry. Question, do you think I should add a flax seed and water binder to make my fritters stick? Or do you think that the chickpeas and the starchy potatoes will be enough to, to bind well together? I need a yay or a nay on that one. Okay, let's put that to the side. I'm gonna cut a little, oh no, wait, I'm gonna start with my garlic first. Okay, one garlic or two. I got four cups of chickpeas. How many cloves of garlic do, I, do you think I need? It's two garlics. Two garlics it is. This is fun. <gasps> this is fun. I like this. Maybe we should start doing, now that it's summertime, maybe we should do these hang with a little earlier. Then Charlie won't have to wait for supper. And the kids wouldn't have to wait for supper either. All right. I'm gonna cut up. I'm gonna finally mince the garlic. I know you can't see the details of all that, but trust me, that's what I'm doing. I'm sorry, I cannot really talk and chop at the same time. I am not Food Network material. Okay, onion. I don't think I'm gonna put the whole onion in here though. I'm just gonna maybe put a third of this little onion in there. Just for, because. Just cause. I don't need to ask on that one. All right. Ooh, get off me. I hate it when onion skin won't get off your skin. Hey, don't go in there. All right, I'm gonna take about a third of that. I think that'll make plenty. I don't want it too oniony or we won't be able to taste the other good stuff. And if I'm doing this on my little griddler, it's not gonna cook the onion enough. I don't wanna have bits of raw onion in my little fritter. Okay, very, very finely minced onion. Very, very finely minced. Like I'm doing a tartar sauce or something. You know what I'm saying? Remember tartar sauce? That is very finely minced. Oh, I'm so good. Look at that. Look at that. I'm good. Can you see that? Oh, it's all bleached out. Look, that's tiny. I'm a little tiny mincer. How's that song go? Tiny dancer. She's a little tiny mincer. Cooking chickpea patties tonight. Okay, I need to make a flaxseed binder. Okay, I've got some 
light colored ground flaxseed here that I keep stored in my freezer. I'm going to go one egg equivalent. Okay, am I done chopping? chopping? Hey, do you think I should add some celery? Nah. Let's just keep on rocking. Never mind. All right, let me get this out of my way. La, la, la. Okay, I'm going to get this stirred. All right, I want to set, while this is getting all gooey, let's work out these spices. Um, parsley. How much parsley should I put in? Y'all get to drive this one. One teaspoon or two? Let's just keep it real simple. Tess says collaborative dinner creation is fun. Oh, good. Okay, how much? One teaspoon. Next, dill weed. La, 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 la. Tiny mincer. Making chickpea patties tonight. They call me Tiny Mincer. <laughs> I'm gonna keep singing until you tell me. Vanessa says two. One. Two. Oh, so I said one. Too late. Okay, I went with two teaspoons of dill. Who's writing this down? Annette. Write this down. One teaspoon of parsley, two teaspoons of dill, dry dill weed. Okay, coriander. Brown coriander. Okay, Vanessa, are you saying one teaspoon to my coriander? Vanessa's running, running the show here, y'all. Come up, come on. Type faster. Mmm, I love coriander. It smells so good. Smells so good. Oh yeah, baby. Come on, baby, you know it smells so good. Some coriander don't smell like it should, but this smells so good. Na 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 na. Remember this? I can make a song out of anything. One. Test says one. Oh, smells so good. Come on, baby. You know you make it smell so good. Some others don't smell like they should, but you smell like you should. Or you smell so good. Oh, half. Now Carla Jean says half. All right, All right. one. One teaspoon of coriander. Next, come on. Come on, come on, come on and touch me, babe. Tell me how much needs to go into this recipe. Oh, tell me how much goes in. Is strong with flavor. Coriander is strong with flavor. Uh-oh. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on and touch me, babe. You know that I am not afraid. What's that next line? How much chickpea can we make? I wonder how it's gonna taste. One teaspoon of cumin. No, ah, 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 ah. Okay. Salt. I did not salt or add any salt to my chickpeas when I pressure cooked them. So they are plain simple. There is salt in my mashed potatoes. But not that much. I went light on that too. So, how much salt? To salt or not to salt? That is the question. I don't want my family, my family's not salt free. So if there's not enough salt in here to make things flavorful, sometimes, then they're just not gonna like it and they're not gonna know why. So there's my vote. I'm voting salt. One teaspoon. That sounds fair. Whoa. Plus we got that flaxseed in there. That's going to drown things out. Okay, I'm jelly. I'm gelatinous enough. Alright, here we go. Um, I'm just going to stick this in there right now. It's all going in. Okay, I'm going to walk in this potato. Let me get this stirred up a little bit. 
distribute a little. Okay, now let's talk about this tater. Mashed potatoes. Um, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with one cup and see what happens. I'm eyeballing one cup of leftover mashed potatoes. I really want this to be more about the chickpeas, but I'm trying to use up the leftover potatoes. You know what I'm saying? So I think it would be fun to have the creamy potatoes in there, but it doesn't need to be like all potato. Oh, it looks good. Look. Nom, nom, nom. See how this is kind of mushy. It's not really, I need this drier crud. I need this to be a little drier. What do I do? What do I do? Make potato waffles. Oh my gosh. I would be at the waffle maker forever. I can't do that. Okay, let me taste this. That's a good idea. Let me taste this. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Okay, we got the spices spot on. But it's too wet. I need some flour. Mmm. Add more potato, somebody says. Alright. I'm adding another cup of potato. Because the potato is dry. All right, let me go a little bit more here. I think it, you know what? I think it was the black seed. Mmm. I'll tell you what, though. That potato mutes out the spices. Mmm. It's good, though. All right. I'm going to try it just like this. I'm going to go flour-free just so I can keep it gluten-free. You know what I'm saying? Okay, time to get out the griddle. Griddler. Let's get out the griddle. And I'm going to use the flat, clean, plate side up. Not this side because that would be a big headache if it did not work out. You know what I'm saying? Let's just make this easy on me, shall we? Okay, I'm plugging this in and I'm going to turn this on high. Grilled panini high. And wait for that to get, get hot. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's smoking. Okay, if you ever get a griddler, don't worry. When you first open it up after it's been heating up and it lets up, you see a little smoke, that's completely normal. Okay? So I've got my stuff here. All right. Here's my tip. Get yourself a bowl of water and a large spoon. And you keep it, you keep your spoon wet to help you shape your patties on your griddler and you won't need oil all right here we go see that smoke that's totally normal okay here we go i'm gonna scoop out that much oh can you see that Yeah. Okay. Now wet. See, I'm wetting the spoon, and I'm gonna use the back of my spoon. I'm gonna press this out. See how it doesn't stick to my spoon? <laughs> this is how you bake a bean patty oil free. Now, if I was really being smart. Hold on, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna get a little smarter here. Hold on. I'm not gonna close this griddler because um, it will just crush these patties and I don't want them to be flat. So I am going to... Ugh. Hold on. I have to be very careful what I'm doing here. Whoops. Okay. Don't ever try to adjust your griddler without oven mitts. You will burn yourself. Trust me. Okay. 
making the most of my time here, or our time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, look here. Oh, I think we're going to make about eight patties. This last one's going to be really big. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that was four cups of mashed chickpeas and about two cups of potatoes is going to yield us eight of these patties. Okay, this one's really big, so let me put a little over there. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Now, I'll tell you on my griddler here, this top side does not get as hot as this bottom side. And I don't know why, because the coils are exactly the same, but it just does. That's the way it is, baby. That's just the way it is, baby. That's just the way it is. Okay, now my griddler got cool. Let me turn this up. I'm going to crank this up. <gasps> There's Charlie. <gasps> Charlie's here. <laughs> Just in time. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? We're cooking. Cooking? We're cooking. They helped me cook dinner tonight. It was a community effort. We put these chickpea... What are we going to call these? Say hello. Hello. Chickpea potato fritters. That's what we're calling them. Isn't he handsome? Okay, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm scared. Feeling kind of loose. <laughs> okay, it's loose. You see that? Kind of wobbly. <gasps> oh, look. All right. Let's see how this next one goes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay. I can't go too big. This one's going to fall apart. It's too loose. Oh, that's not gonna, I don't have any confidence. Oh, I'm geared. Let's go over here. Oh man, this one, that one's not gonna work either. That one's gonna f fail. Here we go. Okay, count for me. One, two, pray, pray. That's what we need, pray. Oh, it's not gonna work. It's falling apart. Uh, uh, it's not gonna work. All right, I'm gonna let him sit a little longer. Come on, crank up, get hot. How about this one? I washed my spatula. Ooh, that one worked. Look at that confidence. Confidence is king here. All right, let's try this one. Not that one. That one's lame. No, no. All right, come over here. All right, you look so pretty. Look, you can see the dill in it. All right, here we go. Let's go. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna do it. Just gonna, just gonna own it. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Ah. Oh. Let's see what happens back here. Oh, maybe. Let me get on this other side. You'll see. All right, there we go. This one, this side's not getting hot enough. Yeah. Okay, you really gotta own it. <laughs> All right, that's definitely not hot enough. And yet she keeps on going. She says, eh, "I know what's wrong," and yet she just keeps wanting to make the mistake. Over and over. She says, maybe this one will work. Oh, that's not going to happen. Oh, it's not going to Oh, tragedy. It's just not hot enough back here. Okay. Shaping it back up. My spatula's wet. I'm failing right in front of you. For you. I'm failing for you. See? I'm making all the mistakes for you. Is this one ready yet? Oh, look here. Now she's ready. Oh, now she's ready. She's in her own time. Getting a little burn action right there. 
Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna let these finish browning, and then I'm gonna get all magical, and I'm gonna lift this back side up, and I'm just gonna close it and make all those flip over onto here. What do you think? <laughs> we'll see if that works. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm gonna get those patties to flip over without a spatula, but they're gonna flip. You see, wait and see. How much time? Okay, I, I've already, just in the two minutes, I went ahead and chopped up a little bit of lettuce. I need to chop up a few onions. I have not forgotten about the cashew dill, lemony dill sauce. We're gonna make that next. Let me cut up these tomatoes. Okay, we got some hot action going on here. Let's see what this looks like. Got some good browning going on. They're certainly stiffer than they were. And I'm definitely having a better time flipping. Okay, so I'm gonna move these off. Look at there. Oh, get off. All right. Well, that's not the pretty side. The other side's the pretty side. There we go. Okay, there's four down. Now let's see if I can make these fall onto here without using my spatula. Ready? Oh, let me get my oven mitt. I do not want to burn myself. Ready? Here we go. Hang on. Let me get the other oven mitt. Let's be double safe. Okay, I'm ready. Double mitts. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, can y'all see that? All right, let's peek together. Oh, did you see that? Look at there. Okay, this one's stuck. So let's see if I can't work that one down. Oh, I'm a genius. Woo, woo. While this is hot, I'm going to do a little cleaning. Look at that! Ta-da! We did it! We did it! All right, let's make some cashew dill lemon stuff. Where's Tess? Tess, this is your idea. Okay, I did something different today that I've never done before with lemons. I have these lemon slices that, I, that were left over from the potluck on Sunday. And um, sure, I'm going to throw some in my water, but I'm also trying to keep my, you know, use everything up as soon as I can. So um, I used a little lemon today to make that salad dressing, and I wanted to use this lemon. And I got the genius idea that I could pinch this, pinch this zest and pull this pith off of the fleshy pulpy part of the lemon and if I do it just right it just comes right off ah! is that awesome look at there there's no seeds because I already took the seeds off so there you are right. isn't that awesome ah! all right so one I'm gonna make about a cup's Maybe three-fourths of a cup's worth of this cashew lemon dill. Y'all want to see that again? Let's do it again. All right, here we go. Let's do it again. Demonstration number two. Was it a fluke or does it happen every time? Okay, well, sometimes you could do that. But if I'm careful, hold on. There we go. This slice is a little thicker. I'm gently holding the slice and I'm just gently pulling up <gasps> did it again look at there ah! now if I was really all gourmet foodie which I'm not I'm thinking we could pay I could painstakingly get this pith off of this off of this uh, lemon peel and then I could drop it in sugar and I could make candied lemon rind things y'all know what i'm talking about and then you can put that in lemonade or do whatever you do with candied lemon zest but i'm not going to do that 
Not today, folks. All right, I'm going to do three. Let's go three times. Three times a lady. Oh, digging deep in the archive. Come on, sing with me. Once, twice, three times a lady. Something, something, something. Cause you're once, twice. Three times amazing. Me. Okay, I'm gonna eyeball three fourths of a cup. That looks like a fourth. That looks like a fourth. That's a little more than a fourth. Okay, three, three fourths of a cup of cashews. It is cashews, cashews. Let's go half. Yeah, half teaspoon. We'll stop right there. And then I am just going to cover that. All right, you see that? Just enough. This is still going to make a really thick sauce. All right, I'm on. Here we go. Oh, huh. Let's turn the power on. Okay, try it again. One, two, three. That sounds good. All right. Okay, we got to throw in for salt and garlic. Oh, look at that. See? Not, oh, look, that's perfect. Not too thick and not runny either. I got this down, Charlie Brown. Let me taste it. Ooh. Mmm, that lemon is good. Maybe just a tiny bit of garlic. But that lemon is so refreshing. A little salt. Just a little. I'm going to go an eighth of a teaspoon. Just a little because I don't want to kill that lemon. You know what I'm saying? I'm afraid that salt will just destroy the lemon. Vanessa says, I'm copying, but we'll use soft tofu instead of cashews. Okay. I had some cash. I have some tofu, but um, I'm saving that for mayo. Oh, okay. Fourth teaspoon. Perfect. Did not cancel out the lemon. Add a little more depth. Of course, I ran this a little longer, so it tastes a little thicker. I'm stopping right there. I'm not going to add any more. Mm -mm. That is good really good uh, oh my gosh they're definitely browner they look like pancakes they look like pancakes that i forgot to flip oh listen 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 that's crunchy look at there flatter definitely crunchier though oh my gosh hey maybe just a little patience just a little patience oh look at there Okay, that's browner than I want. Oh, ooh, look. Okay, oh, y'all. Oh my gosh, that's nice and that's nice and hard compared to this. This is like a soft potato cake, and this is more like a patty. Oh my gosh. I have half a mind to put these back on the griddler, but my family's hungry. Oh, baby. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn that off. That's what I mean to do right there. <gasps> Looky there. Oh, yeah. I need a foodie picture. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that looks awesome. The kids are not gonna like this brown one. Okay, here's one. This is from the first four, not burned. Much better. 
Okay, don't burn these. Okay, so if I had to choose between crispy and brown or still soft, I'm going with still soft because I can still taste all the spices we put in it and they got lost when I overcooked them here. Okay, somebody says I should put it in the dip. Let's go. Dipping. I really dip that. I'm doing it like we'd all do it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna stick this burn one in here. Puncho's like jumping around my feet. Ow, ow, ow. Hot. <laughs> These are so hot. Okay. Okay. Put more sauce. Okay. The sauce totally cancels out the burn. Okay, I need some tortillas. Okay, look, I just threw I just threw these tortillas on my griddler. They were on there probably about three minutes. Don't let me lose track. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go with some potato stuff. I'm gonna do this like a fold over. That's what we'll do. Oops, did you hear that duck? The duck, the duck is out. The duck is out. Okay. All right, can you see? All right, now for the lettuce and tomato. Let's go lettuce. Let's go lettuce, let's go. Let's go lettuce, let's go. Tomato. I wish I had cucumber. Oh, these are so pretty. All right. I don't have a spoon. Oh, this is scary. Wait. Oh, this is not going to work. Hold on. My fingers are wet. Okay, here we go. Ready? Anticipation. It's making me wait. Making me wait. Oh, y'all say when. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Anticipation. Oh my gosh. Let's get it on. Oh, baby. Let's get it on. Oh, I kind of went overboard. Okay, let's call the family in. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Charlie! Max! I need a picture. <gasps> I need to get some. Here, somebody take a picture. Hold on. Okay, screenshot. Screenshot. On live television. All right, it's time. There are people holding their breath to find out if you like what we came up with. Okay, so we made these little chickpea patties, chickpea potato patties, and they are hot. Woo hoo! Is that a woo woo or was that a woo woo? That was a woo woo. It's hot. Okay, come in here, crowd up. Ooh, that's Get great. in frame. So it's a chickpea patty with lettuce and tomatoes on top, and a lemony dill cashew sauce on top of that. Mm. All right. So be careful biting into it because the tortilla is the hottest part. And then let us know what you think. Come on, you get in there too, Charlie. Okay. Get yeah. stuff in, in your face, man. Oh, it's already made? Yeah. Oh, okay. Y'all get to try that for brevity's sake. Okay, there was some assembly required. Well, mm. your second one will be. Yeah, okay. All right. Mm. This is really good. Mm. I like the sauce. Yeah. The, mm hmm. Mm. Mmm. That's really good. It's creamy. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's mm -hmm. really good. This is really good. What? Say that again, Charlie. What did you just say? I said I, I would ask for that again. Oh! That's the, that's the qualifying answer, right? That's all we wanted mm -hmm. to hear. Mmm. This is really good. Legend Pooh says potato fritter taco sounds better. Oh, that does sound mm -hmm. good. Oh my God! Listen, can you hear the moans? The only thing better than that 
Yeah. Going to be the second one. Oh. Yeah. Mm. And there's plenty. Mm. Mm. Oh, I love it. Look at him digging in, man. It's really good. But we didn't do too bad, ladies. It's delicious. Yeah. Mm. Winner, winner, fritter, dinner. Mm. Ah! Oh, I love it. Okay, I like Vanessa's name for this. I want to turn. I may need a third one. Come on. No, uh -huh. we're good. You're pretty good. Woo, mm -hmm. You want a third one, Max? Um, I'll let you guys eat stuff right real quick before I start to count down. Well, I think there's plenty for us to have. No, there's not. I'll eat it all. <laughs> I love it. Okay, well I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and lay down and eat this one that's extra brown. Mm. What do you want, dog? Mm. He says I want some. He says I've been watching her make it all night long. That's what he said. Don't make it all that noise up there. I want some of it. Oh, I, I need to cut up some more lettuce and tomato. <sighs> it's good when we're going. Mm. 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 Charlie's on his third one. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. These are so awesome. The lemon cashew sauce makes this rock. Mm -hmm. I think that what we did, what we put together tonight, just this alone, we could do anywhere. We could do that as a salad dressing or put that on anything. So definitely make that for yourselves tomorrow. Or oh, right now. Y'all, mm -hmm. mm. we did good. Mm -hmm. Yay! Woo Great job. Thank you all for the food. Thank you so much for hanging out with me staying with me and thank you so much for helping me make an awesome recipe. I cannot believe that my husband and the teenager liked it. Well, I mean, they, they really, did you hear Charlie? Like he took a couple of bites and he was like, I'd ask for this. That, that is high praise. And for Max to go back for a third one, I mean, that's, that's some serious stuff. We have made a seriously good recipe together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Bye.